Good day, Bear Nation. I uh, just wanted to talk to you for a second about some of the changes you're going to see when you come back to school here in a couple weeks. Uh, you'll see the preview of each of the different levels and what school is going to look like. So we thank you for taking the time to check it out. Obviously, as you know, safety is our number one priority. So we want to just kind of go through what, what a school day is going to look like. Hello, I'm Dr. Flannery, Assistant Superintendent for the Mannheim Central School District. On August 17th, the Pennsylvania Department of Education released information to schools from the Department of Health requiring staff and students to wear face coverings at all times. This no longer allows us to remove face coverings when socially distanced by six feet. While face coverings will now be worn for the majority of the school day, learners will be able to remove their face masks when eating or drinking and separated by six feet. During face covering breaks that last no longer than 10 minutes, or when wearing a face covering creates an unsafe condition. When thinking about a typical school day, face coverings will then be removed during lunch, parts of physical education and recess, and at scheduled mask breaks throughout the day. As future updates are announced, we will be sure to share them with you. There are some important things to remember before you even leave your house. If you have a fever of 100.4 or higher, have a cough, sore throat, shortness of breath, diarrhea, chills, or have difficulty breathing, these are signs that you should stay home from school. If you or someone in your immediate family have been in close contact with someone who tested positive for coronavirus, please call your school nurse or your doctor for guidance on what to do next. While we want you here, we also want to ensure your safety and the safety of those around you. Hi, my name is Barbara Spies. I am Transportation Specialist for Mannheim Central School District. We would like to highlight five points in our Transportation Safety and Health Plan. First, we will be mandating masks or face shields on the bus. Please make sure your learner has their face mask or shield and when, on when they arrive at the bus stop. We will be providing extra disposable masks on the bus if needed. Secondly, we will be running our buses as normal as we can. With that being said, social distancing will not occur on every bus, but we will do our best to social distance as much as possible. Thirdly, we will be keeping the first row of seats open to maintain social distancing from the bus driver. Next, we will be disinfecting our buses daily. And our last point is, we will keep windows partially down throughout the trip to maintain airflow. So please have your learners dressed accordingly for the weather. If you are a parent who will be driving their learner, parent pickup may change at each building. Please watch for communication from your building principal. Hello, Mannheim Central Middle School learners and families. I'm your principal, Dr. Nemeth. Thank you so much for joining us today as we take you through what a day will look like for your child here at school. As we outline our day, you will see some changes to what you have experienced in the past. While we're making some changes to our day, we are committed to creating a place where children are excited and passionate about learning. Through your support of our procedures, we can certainly be difference makers in doing our part to help mitigate the spread of COVID-19. So let's get ready to see what a day in the life of a middle school learner looks like. Good morning and welcome to the start of the school day. Whether you are a car rider, walker, or bus rider, depending on your grade level, you will enter one of two doors at the school. All of our fifth and sixth grade learners will enter through door 29 near the cafeteria, and all of our seventh and eighth grade learners will enter through a door at the front of the building in the glass stairwell. One thing that is new this year is that all learners will have their temperature checked prior to entering the building. After you get your temperature checked, you will walk directly to your locker and then to your first block classroom. When you enter your classroom, you will use hand sanitizer before sitting at your desk. You are also welcomed to get breakfast. So if you will be getting breakfast, you will go directly to the cafeteria before walking to your locker and first block class. All grades five through eight will eat in the cafeteria. Hello, Mannheim Central Middle School learners and families. I'm Mr. Richards, I'm your assistant principal. Now, as you enter your classrooms, you will use hand sanitizer. 
Your desk will already be sanitized, so you'll move to your assigned seat in the classroom, which the facilitator will share with you. Your facilitator will have important guidelines established for the sharing and return of items in the classroom. Please, please try to use your own personal supply of learning tools throughout the day. Most of these items will be supplied by your school and your child's facilitator, pencils, glue, and scissors. If you are sharing an item, make sure that you wash your hands before and after you've used it. As you exit the classroom, you will be instructed to wash your hands using soap and water. We want to make sure that everyone stays safe. And in order to ensure a safe environment, we are asking that everyone sanitize their hands on a regular basis and wears a face covering when social distancing cannot be achieved. For learners, this means when you enter or exit a classroom, you will use hand sanitizer or wash your hands. Make sure that you wash your hands thoroughly with the soap provided as you practice good hygiene. A good tip is to sing happy birthday two times. In addition to routine hand washing, we are asking that you wear a face covering in classrooms and as you transition in the hallway. There will be several times throughout the day where you will transition in the hallways. We are asking that you go to your lockers at the start of the day, after lunch, and at the end of the day to limit the amount of time learners are in the hallways. You will be able to carry your backpack or school-issued backpack with you throughout the day. Don't worry if you forget something, you will still be able to access your locker at other times if needed. Please be sure to limit the amount of time at your locker. Transition times will be staggered to limit the number of learners in the hallways at one time. We are asking that you stay to the right and take the shortest route to your next block class. As in the past, you will still sign out to use the bathroom, but we now have a new sign out procedure. All learners will ask their facilitator to use the restroom. When you receive permission, you will use the Google form to sign out. You will have this housed in your Schoology course for easy access. Once you complete the form, you will then receive a pass from your teacher. You will use the restroom, keep your pass on the small desk outside of the restroom. Once finished, you'll take your pass back to class and throw it away. Additionally, even though you washed your hands in the bathroom, you will use hand sanitizer in your classroom before returning to your seat and then sign back in using the Google form. It's now everyone's favorite time of the day, lunch. Learners will still go to the cafeteria for lunch, but they will have a staggered start time for lunch to minimize the amount of learners waiting in the serving line. Once it is your class's time to go to the cafeteria, you will go directly into the lunch line. Please be sure to stand on the markers on the floor to maintain social distancing. Our trays look a little different this year as they are disposable. When it is your turn, you will grab a tray and silverware, walk through the line getting your lunch selection, and go to a register where you will use the finger scanner. All condiments will come in individual containers. You will take what you need and then find your seat in the cafeteria. Our cafeteria is set up so you can sit without having to wear a face covering and still be near your friends. When finished with lunch, you will throw your things away and can access the courtyard for recess. Be sure that you have a face covering on and that you use hand sanitizer when going outside. You can use the recess equipment, but when re-entering the cafeteria, please use hand sanitizer when going back to your seat for dismissal. This year, we'll be using our cafeteria, college row, and classrooms for lunch. While it might be hard to believe, it is already the end of the day, and that means it's time for dismissal. All learners will be dismissed from their barren time classrooms. During this time, learners will access their locker to get all of their belongings. They will wait in their barren time as walkers, car riders, and wave one and two bus riders are dismissed. Learners should wash their hands upon exiting the classroom and should be wearing a face covering. When walkers are called, all walkers will exit out of the main door of the school and we be will begin their journey home. If you are a car rider, then you will exit at the time you are called and walk to the main doors and wait, socially distanced, by the flagpole. When your wave of bus is called, you will walk out of your grade level's assigned doors. Fifth and sixth grade will walk out of doors 29, and seventh and eighth graders will walk out of the main doors. We know that it's been a long time since we have all been together in school. We want to make sure that you are as comfortable as possible on our first day of school. Therefore, we will be starting our day out in barren time and spending the whole day with that learning facilitator. You will still get to see all of your facilitators, but they will come to you. 
We have a lot of fun things planned on our first day together. We will also have lots of time for you to ask any questions that might be on your mind. One way to prepare is to be sure that you know your Barentine facilitator so that you know where to go on the first day. We will have adults to help you find your way, but knowing the facilitator's name will help. We hope this helped to give you an idea of what to expect when you return to school soon. We want to give a special thank you to our Mannheim Central movie stars, Allie and Leo Neifert, Gus and Sal Bushy, AJ and Caroline Hondru, and Julia Hess for modeling what school will look like. We hope you have a great rest of your summer and we can't wait to see you all on August 31st. Remember, we are Barons and we are Difference Makers. See you soon, everybody.